Hello and welcome to the introduction to e-digital image processing using MATLAB. In the series of tutorials, we will discuss the use of MATLAB for image processing specifically. Now, just to get started, this is how the MATLAB looks like. You can change the layout. So, this is the default layout. We can have the only command line. We can have history and command window. So, you can change the uh, appearance. We will generally go out for the default appearance. Now, MATLAB, you just have this uh, cursor here. You can type in whatever commands you want. So, suppose I can do math mathematical calculations. And there is always a variable called answer, which is uh, assigned to the calculations that we have last performed. So, 6 plus 7, 8 minus 4. We can do various options, uh, mathematical operations. So, this is almost like a calculator here. We can also say format long and then if I do the same calculation you can see that the long format of the answer is got. Then we can do this is an invent command to find out the square root. So this is how it looks like. Again the format is long here. The sign values pi by so these are all inbuilt values we have log you can see that when I do a log uh, I just forgot the brackets here so log of 10 so you can see that this is what we get so this is basically log to the base 2 that we have I can say log to the base 10 10 and I get the answer 1. So I can change the basis over here. I can assign the basis and do the operations on whatever operand put inside the brackets. Then I can define variables. I can say maybe A is 3.45, B is 7.8 and tan B. So this is the tangent that we get. We say A into tan B. This is what we get. Then I have an inbuilt command called who. This will tell me what variables I have I used till, till now in my workspace. So we have A and B variables defined. I can say I can get the details by using who s. So you can see A, B, their sizes and as well as an answer which is uh, telling me the last result of my calculation done is displayed here. So the size, the byte size, the class, everything is defined using who is. Um, the MATLAB is so powerful because it is able to manipulate matrices very well. So we can just maybe define a matrix here. I'll just space it out. 2, 3, 2. So this is one row of four columns. The second row would be any values I can put in. Not necessarily one digit, two digit. They can be anything. I can have negative values also. So you can see I have defined a three row by four column matrix. And I can also get the values of this matrix if I want suppose the second row and fourth column. So this should return second row and fourth column. So 4 should be returned which we get here. Similarly, I can do other options. I can, you can maybe check with 1 comma anything which is not here. So you can see that the index exceeds the matrix or dimensions because we had a 3 cross 4 matrix here. Now we have also the order defined. So the order of this matrix is defined like this. This is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. What do I mean by this? So if I say suppose 12, I should be getting 6. Why? Because this is how it, the index is defined. This is the 1st, this is 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th and moving on like this we get this as the 12th element. We can check with second element so it should be 3 yes it is 
so this is second first second third fourth fifth and so on so this is the direct index of the matrix rather than giving a row of comma column we have just given an index to it now then we can also have we can take the elements out so suppose I want 6 10 1 so you can see the sixth element the tenth element and the first element are output as the answer here now I can also use a colon operator so I suppose I say 2 16 or whatever 19 so what does it mean my I start from 2 and I end till 19 here and I have my step size is 3 so the first element is 2 then plus 3 is 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 3 11 plus 3 14 and then 17 plus 3 if I do it it exceeds this value so that is why it is still 17 so this is basically used at various places in loops and everything so I just use this col colon operator I can also extract so suppose I say second row and first column to the third column so second row and I said first to third to 3 6 12 that I should get that so 3 6 12 is here I can also s index it on the rows so I say 2 to 3 and maybe I just take out the first row Uh, first column sorry so second third elements 3 minus 3 so we get it like this I can get all the elements I can just say 3 and give a colon so it means all the elements are included so in the entire first third row is displayed here so I can do various other operations I can define another matrix B and maybe I will define it like um, this was of size for 3 cross 4 so I'll define another 4 cross 3 so so this is my 4 cross 3 if I want to do A into B I get the values so the normal matrix multiplication is performed and the answer is stored in the variable ANS which is the short form for answer similarly I can do other operations like I can just say 2 into A minus 3 into B so the dimensions do not agree we know that the uh, minus operation can be performed only when the number of rows and columns are the same so obviously that is why this is not working because we had taken the matrix as 4 cross 3 so apart from this I can I have a dot operator so if I want to do operations just on the element then I can say a dot to the power 2 yes so we can see here that just to recapitulate what was A this was my A what am I doing I'm squaring all the elements so I'm just saying the dot operator means that operate on each and every index individually each and every element every um, each and every element is operated on individually so I'm squaring all the elements here as you can see this is the answer that I get similarly I can just say maybe one dot a so I'm getting the inverse of each and every number of a um, we can say inverse a okay so this was of uh, obviously it has to adhere to the matrix rules so maybe I'll make another matrix of 3 cross 3 so this is my matrix 3 cross 3 and I say inverse x 
and I'm able to get the inverse the value through just using this in inbuilt command I can perform the transpose by using the dash command and you can see that this is coming here so 1 4 2 here and the transpose of this matrix is here similarly I have another function flip ud which is flip up down so if I say flip ud up down x so what is it doing the lower elements are swapping and it's an inverse basically so it's a mirror image across the horizontal axis so 1 2 3 come here so it's an up down flip I can also perform a flip left right so I will again do this and it's across the y axis I am getting this so these elements have been flipped and the center one remains the same similarly I can just say rotate 90 sorry rotate 90 and I give x so you can see all the elements are rotated by a 90 degrees so it's just a rotation like this 1 2 3 here and this gets rotated so each and every element is just getting rotated then there's another command called reshape reshape produces a matrix with elements taken column by column from the given element so suppose I have um, this X over here or I'll just recheck what my A was okay and I say reshape so right now I have three rows and four columns so I want to reshape this I have how many elements I have 12 elements so I want two rows and I would have six columns because the number of elements cannot change so that is why uh, the number of elements should remain the same so 6 into 2 is 12 4 into 3 is 12 so that is why this should work and what's happening the reshape is done so first two these these two elements are taken 1 and 3 then minus 3 and 2 6 and 7 3 and 2 12 minus 7 and 2 and 4 and 6 so that's how a reshape is performed I can do more reshapes like I can say a again it should adhere to the 4 comma 3 so I, I can say 4 rows and 3 columns so you can see this one element is added here then these two elements shift here and this is what my result is so this is how we can use the reshape command then we have something called a zeros command this is an easy method to generate matrices with all zero elements so if I just give one number a four cross four matrix is generated with all zeros if I give two dimensions so I say four comma five four rows and five columns zero matrix is generated it can be a multi-dimensional uh, matrix so I can just say uh, 2 comma 3 comma 4 two elements all assigned in the three dimension so then we have something called a plot I can just say plot and I can say maybe x comma I say tan x so this is how my plot will look like the values of x across here and tan x on this axis whenever I want a new figure to be displayed I can just say the command figure and you can see a new blank figure is generated otherwise what will happen is that the last previous figure will be written on and that will be lost so I just use the figure command so this brings us to the end of this uh, first introduction to MATLAB now in the next one we will look at the uh, pro commands more specific to the image processing toolbox thank you